Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Asobi Ma Show. My name is Colby, and I'm here with you to play The Last Door. Uh, this is a game, a little point-and-click uh, horror game that I heard about on Tumblr. Um, it was funded through a Kickstarter a while back. Um, right now, there are multiple seasons of the game. Uh, the first season is out in completion in four parts, uh, and the second season has a, a part one available right now as of November 18th, the recording of this video. Um, it's browser-based. You can play all of the parts for free on their website, thelastdoor.com. I'll put a link in the description. Um, and uh, there is a downloadable client version of the game that's available for a premium membership fee or people who donated to the Kickstarter. Um, and right now they are in Steam's uh, Greenlight program to, to develop a, a Steam version of the game. Um, so uh, I encourage you to check out their website and uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Okay. Oh, wow. Uh, press 1 to enable dyslexia-friendly font to enable dis or disable descriptions of sounds for closed captioning. 3 for full screen mode. Wow, okay. That's... That's really awesome. After all the things I've seen. Oh. Okay, so it's in kind of that pixelated style. After all the things I've done. Uh-oh. Uh, I don't like where this is going. My life is on a course that I cannot, I can't escape from. It's too late for me now. Yeah, I had a feeling. I just hope you could forgive me someday. Yours sincerely, Anthony Beechworth. Well? since I last heard that sentence. It used to be the motto of the science and philosophy group that we secretly ran back when we were in that secluded boarding school in Scotland. We left it all behind, like simple childhood memories. But it was unusual. That letter could only mean something awful must have happened. Something that must remain absolutely secret. I had to find out what was going on. Without delay, I took the first morning train to Sussex to the address on the letter. And there it was, the old home of Anthony's family, the Beechworth Mansion. <laughs> it's a rather simple looking mansion. Chapter 1. Okay. The lens. Alright, so I don't... Oh. Fields surrounding the house stretch majestically as far as the eye can see. I didn't know Anthony was the owner of such properties. Let's walk around the side. Holy God! A murder of crows is eagerly eating something. Just rubbish. Well, there's a back door. And it's locked. Okay. Simple enough. 
Oh, that's nice. It's weird, everything is silent, like there's no one living here. I'm worried about Anthony, I have to find him. Take the coat off. Portrait of Anthony, he looks older than expected. A note on the table. Dear Mr. Beechworth, due to the recent events, the situation has become unbearable for us, and much to our regret, we have no other choice but to leave. We will remain ever, forever grateful for all these years at your service. God bless you, Mr. and Mrs. Brewer. Maybe that was the help? The grandfather clock. It's the only sound around here. Uh, let's go over here. Okay. Let's try this first door. And it won't open. Okay. So there's... I guess if you have to backtrack, there's a nice little double click. You can kind of skip the whole walking sequence. A stuffed deer head. A drinks cabinet with glasses, some crystal bottles, and a matchbox. <laughs> Fireplace. Looks like it hasn't been cleaned in a long time. An open window. Large window is wide open, letting the cold dusk air in. Let's try this door. Da -da -da. Okay. A landscape. Variety of cooking ingredients. The kitchen stoves and a cleaning cloth. Plates and pans. A plate with some days old leftovers. Okay. Oh, wait, here we go. Okay, I got the cloth. Oh, this must be the back door. Yeah. Okay. Another landscape. A crooked painting. Ah, uh, let's fix this painting. There we go. Landscape. small plant brings some life to this place. Ain't that the truth? Okay, some toiletries. What's up there? A lamp. Oh, good. Nothing of interest in here. Is that another letter? March 5th, 1981. Or 1891. Gosh, wow. <laughs> Master made us get rid of our religious objects. What's going on with him? Luckily, I found a place to hide my rosary. I can't pray every night without it. May 18th, 1891. Master's been complaining about Alfie. What would a simple cat do to him? He ordered us to keep him out of the house at all times. Still, I can't let that poor thing starve. He's such a clever cat. Every time I open the window, he knows food's waiting for him. Anyway, I'm worried about the Master. He's growing more and more unlike himself every day. September 15th. Mr. Beechworth is spending whole days locked inside his office. He wants us to leave him food at the door, but he barely eats anything. I'm really worried. Well, empty bowl like one uses to feed a pet. Oh, I bet we can get the cat in here. The window won't stay open. It looks like the wood is giving up. We need some sort of cord to op keep it open. Hmm. Is that a hole in the wall? Sure is. Oh, there's a little... In the wall I can see the trace of a crucifix that was hanging there for years and now is gone. Okay, so I need to find something to keep the window open. Padlocked. Okay. Oh! 
Ah. Okay. Oh, the cord from the from the rosary. These are some seriously squeaky floors. The rosary will keep the window open. Okay. I suppose I should just wait for... Maybe I have to get something to feed the cat with. Let's go back into the kitchen. Let's see if there's anything in here. No. Plate with some days old leftovers. Those should be good enough for a cat, right? No. Let's, uh. Let's go back in the front and go upstairs again now that we have this lamp. Well, it's too dark. Okay, so I put the no. Oh, it probably needs gas. Well, shoot. Okay. Never mind, folks. We got it. Okay, so now we've got this lamp. This is not going to uh, to be scary at all, right? Some wooden planks have been nailed in this doorway. Okay. Uh, some of the paintings are missing. Double bed covered in dust. Seems like no one slept here for days. Oh, I wonder why. I wonder why nobody wants to sleep in the horrifying mansion. With boarded up doors. Family portraits. Okay. Gentleman with a serious and inquisitive look. Uh, can I light the fireplace? I don't need to light up the fireplace. Says you. Ah. Silver key. A silver key. I wonder what to. Could it possibly be this door right here? Mm -hmm. We shall find out. The answer is no. Okay, perfect. Somebody take the paintings off the walls down here. Doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Ah, okay, there we go. There we ah. Okay. What? What? What the? Okay, I'm gonna go find what this lock, what this key fits. <laughs> Basement. A slate rec record titled The Carnival of Venice. Okay. Now we're in the creepy base. And some firewood. An iron crowbar. That'll be good. Ah, the furnace. 
boiler looks like it's been out of use for a long time. Can I light this firewood? No. How about the furnace? Don't need to light the boiler. Says you. Cement is still fresh in this wall. I can't break down the wall with this. Well, shoot. Okay. Lots of barrels in the basement. Not sure why. Maybe he keeps his wine there. Okay, so now obviously these crowbar... This crowbar is for... Those wooden slats, wooden boards that were over here upstairs for some reason. <laughs> he seems to move a lot slower while he's holding the lamp. I'm not sure why that is. I mean, he's not holding it with his feet, so... Hey! Oh, what a gross sound. Alright. Oh! God's sake, what's happened here? It's a letter. Dear Margaret, it's been days since Anthony left his office. I can hear him whisper angrily, frightfully, and it gets worse every night. Our servants left a few days ago. Without their help and care, I'm lost. I can barely walk out of bed. Not even the doctor would come here after his argument with Anthony. He's developed this horrible ability to break anyone's will. I don't know what to do. I don't have any strength left. I wish I could send you this letter, your dear friend. It says, leave me alone. Who would have written such a... Is that a body? The lifeless body of a woman. It's been here for a few days. Looks like she's clutching a note in her hand. I'm writing what will surely be my final thoughts, my last lines, my last breath. I don't know what kind of dark power has turned my husband into what he is now. A stranger with a look bereft of all sanity, compassion, and human warmth. I don't know what that shadow that slowly darkened our lives. I don't know this entity host that now dwells in our souls. I don't know where it's from, but I'm sure it's not from this world. I will meet my brothers and sisters soon. I will be free from this abyss of madness and fear. Soon I will stop trembling. Oh. A hairpin. Okay. Is that a, an old wheelchair? Nothing of interest in this dressing table. Is this another note? A letter in feeble handwriting. I can't go on. All is lost. Oh. It's a diary page. I can't stand their stares. They watch me. They judge me. They despise me. I know they think I'm not worthy of this family. Who are they? But dust and bones. A memory. Leave me. I don't need you. Leave me alone. Well, the only way to go is over here. A young Anthony, just like I remember him. An adult woman. She looks really pale. Oh, what is that noise? A woman holding a baby. An old, severe-looking man. His gaze unsettles me. A teenage girl. She has a sad face. A young man, one of Anthony's relatives. A portrait of Anthony with a stuffed lynx. It looks like he's very proud. I was valued in. The paint looks fresher around the lynx's head. back folks I forgot about this gramophone you put the record on
lads. There's a dying crow amidst a pool of blood. Can we help it? Can we end its misery? Oh, no, oh, we just... Oh, God. to cook it. I'm not cooking a crow. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, this is what... We have to put this in the bowl to get the cat to come in, right? Oh, God. It's a horrible noise. Oh, my God. to show up? What are we... Oh. So the cat's there. Already. That was... Oh. God. Okay. Where did the crow go? There's a trail of blood from the bowl to that hole in the wall. Crow is gone, there's some blood left. Okay, so the cat is somewhere. Okay, I think I know what we have to do with this hairpin. <clears throat> the acoustics in this house are crazy good. <laughs> the balcony that communicates with the adjacent room. Ah! Alright. Managed to open the latch. Okay. A stuffed lynx. Looks like the one in Anthony's portrait. A map with a region markings on it. A few press cuttings pinned to the wall, the illustrated London judge kills himself under strange circumstances. Daily Telegraph, 1888, Earl found dead floating in the Thames. The Times, 1889, famous actor found bled to death in his hotel room. Oh, well that's weird. Remains of a chemical experiment, some sort of spilled chemical can of thinner. Serious gazes, they, their whispers. It's all ready. There's only one thing left to do. Oh. Oh, what is. Is this the. Oh, okay. This is the door at the end of the hall. Okay. A reinforced metal trap door. There's a golden keyhole. Oh, wait. Hold on. Okay. I know what the paint thinner is for. For uh, cleaning this off, so we use the cloth, dampen the cloth with the thinner, and we use it on this painting. Okay, the thinner has worked. The fresh paint around the lynx's head is gone now. I can see the original painting. The lynx is different. Its mouth is open as if it were growling. Oh, okay. 
so does that mean we have to go open the lynx's mouth? Uh, stuff lynx. It looks like the one in Anthony's portrait, but its mouth is shut like it was before I revealed the original painting. We're gonna bash it. We're gonna bash the shit out of it. <laughs> I don't want to smash it with a hammer. Okay, but how the how are, how then what are we supposed to do? Uh, where's the where's the cat sound coming from? Uh, maybe it got stuck in the basement. Let's go see. The cat's meow is louder here. Yep. He got stuck in the boiler. <laughs> Looks like it's been out of use for a long time. Oh no, it's behind wherever this... Yeah, this new cement. Let's bash this. You're free! Oh... Black cat with its eyes missing. There's an open chest with a dark cloak, a mask, and a knife. Only this knife can be useful. There's nothing else useful here. Okay, so we now we use the knife. I get a feeling we shouldn't leave that chest open, but whatever. Not much choice I have in the matter. Gotta use the knife on the links. So we can get the key. Get the key. Uh, yep. So we go over here, then up here, and then right. God, go faster. Uh, wait. No, I messed up. All the way down. <laughs> and here, we use the knife on the links. Okay. Woo! Ah. Managed to get the links' mouth open. The tongue has been removed, and there's a golden key instead. Okay, so now we use the golden key on this door. And I got a feeling I'm not gonna like what's up here. <laughs> The lifeless body of my dear friend. There's a sealed letter in his pocket. Dear J. Devitt, if you're reading these lines, then I am nothing but a dead body hanging before you. I write you in my last shreds of lucidity. You can't possibly know how pleased I am knowing that you arrived on time. You are one of my oldest friends, and when I sent you the letter asking you to come here, I didn't doubt for one moment that you would. Had you failed me this night, everything would be lost. I found myself involved in a series of horrible incidents. For reasons beyond my comprehension and sanity, I have become a total stranger to myself and to the closest, my closest relatives, capable of the most indescribable and atrocious acts. I can't give you any more detail now. I must ask you to go immediately. What does that sound? Back to the boarding school where we made that pact, where we all said that sentence, that sentence that would always protect us and swore with our honor before the other members. This letter must not reach anyone else, so I'd like you to destroy it immediately. The lives of the rest of the group and yours are in great danger. Do not delay. They are already waiting for you. Seeing is believing, Devitt. Don't forget it. Always your loyal friend. Yes! Oh. God, what the hell? Huh. Wow. Okay, so that's it for chapter one. Um, lots of, of scene setting. I'm interested to see what is going to happen when we get to this boarding school. Um, so uh, next time we'll be playing chapter two. Um, like I said, check these guys out. Check the game out, thelastdoor.com. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. 
And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video with your friends, and check out our Twitter account for up-to-the-date uh, uploads and uh, some more interaction with us. And, um, okay, we'll see you guys in Chapter 2.